Okay, I only have maybe five leaders of LN2 remaining. I will uh, take down as many as I can with the Q9300, which is one of the easiest CPUs. Minus 80 on the CPU, minus 45 to minus 50 on the Northbridge. Top score should be 8.75, and we got it. And we'll run 1024 amps straight afterwards. Only. Uh, Okay, 580 set, 575 in the OS, was on the edge, I will run, I think this is 570 right now, minus 60 on the north, which minus 90 something on the CPU, 8.75 is the top score, 8.515 by pretty nice margin. So over 200 millisecond gain over the previous rank one score made by some guy from France. It's like high V. I don't know how to pronounce it. Doesn't matter. Now I'll run uh, 1024 M at the same speed. Maybe 15 second gain, maybe. Probably not any better. It's like 11 second gain, same guy from France as the previous top score holder. So now we have only used maybe two of, maybe three liters of LN2 and we got both W primes. Now I'll move on to serve 2003. Okay, I cannot make the CPU debug, but at least I got the 32 amp top score with one attempt, pretty much, at uh, 4.313 gigahertz, 10 minutes, 17.968, previous top score is by Samo CX Tapaka at 10 minutes, 40.468, I think, surprisingly on X48, which is very rare for Yorkfield CPUs to run so high FSP, but anyways, we got this on P45 because of higher CPU frequency and my memories are definitely all right. But of course, X48 is faster at the same given frequency. So I'm only missing the single thread stuff that need the CPU bug. So PyFast, 1M, validation, etc. Ninety two. Okay, I didn't expect to get this with the same CPU. So, uh, new top score in PyFast. 20.92, previous top score 20.94 by Ice Power from Germany. This is a bit uh, at a bit lower frequency, like 20 megahertz or so. Memory is close to 1600, 554.15, common rate one. Astro P45 X3 Deluxe. So now I'm just missing the validation, but this is damn awesome.
four, five, six, nine. Probably not, but at least we saw it, so it's close. And okay, I, I think it's best to wrap up the last remaining locked York field CPU this way, as the results were made in three different independent uh, LN2 sessions. Although actually the CPU ended up being the same, although I tested many other Q9300 chips along the way, as uh, the one I used for everything I already obtained in late 2024, and I ran the first tests in uh, December of 2024, around Christmas. So uh, the Q9300 was definitely hard. The single thread stuff like Validation, 1M, PyFast, they were at very good levels by Ice Power from Germany. It was extremely difficult to get those uh, nailed down. So I made the initial runs in December of 2024, as the W primes were definitely easy. So uh, 8.515 seconds, the previous top score was 8.75 by High East Hivy from France, I think. So uh, 4.277 against 4.224, so like 50 megahertz higher CPU frequency. But uh, yeah, the performance is definitely all right, over 200 milliseconds faster. And 1024 m I think it was 11 second gain at 4.278 against 4.2. So uh, the CPU was actually the same after all, although I was pretty sure at the start I wouldn't be able to take down every single one with this very same CPU. I was thinking I need to find a way to bug the CPU, but I actually ended up using three independent or three different ASRock P45 X3 Deluxe motherboards with this uh, CPU model. So the for W primes, I used the one that got damaged, the one I got from ground, then uh, Superpy 32M, I think I used the 30 euro motherboard, which I got from eBay, and another one I got from uh, eBay as well, but from America, which was more expensive, and that, that's actually the best P45 X3 Deluxe I have in the end, and I used that board for the remaining tests like 1M, PyFast and Validation. So SuperPi 32M I actually made in June of 2025 after Computex. This was actually pretty interesting. Uh, I ran 4.313 uh, gigahertz on P45, 10 minutes 17.968. Previous top score was 10 minutes 40.438 by Samo CX or Tapaka. But he actually ran, I think this is Rampage Extreme, but he ran X48, it seems. So uh, 550, I'm sure this, as long as this mem test uh, shows okay or correctly, this should be X48. It always reports X48 as X38. But uh, it's kind of interesting if it's truly x48 because uh, that plaf that platform is usually much faster than p45 especially in superby 32m and if sam's result is at 10 minutes 40.438 at 4.125 then that kind of shows my performance or result is definitely all right uh, with P45. This is Bull Shooter, apparently on P45. Nick at 4.1, P45. It's very hard to say, is it truly uh, P45 or X48? It's hard to say because Sam's efficiency is usually very good. So this difference could still be somewhat doable, even if both of them were running P45. But it, uh, I really don't know. It's very hard to say. But uh, I'm definitely happy about my results. So 10, so this is like uh, 20, 23 second gain almost. Memories are at 1532, 1533 at 55415 common rate one. So like uh, almost 200 megahertz higher than some OCX on the CPU. Memory 1800 something, but 
if this is P45, then this should be a bucked memory multiplier. If it's P45, I mean, that's at least some, what someone someone commented on my uh, video before, but 655. But this appears to be single rank memory. So could be possible, but uh, TRCD5 at 1800 would be very strong, but this is definitely bucked based on the comment I got on some of my earlier video about the 30 euro P45 X3 Deluxe. So very hard to say, but definitely strong. When I ran this or after this, I was, I was absolutely certain I wouldn't be able to take down the uh, last remaining scores with the Q9300, but I actually over, overcame myself and uh, did some very strong numbers with this very same CPU once again. So actually uh, you can see from the VID it's the same CPU 1.175 as the one I use for W primes. And then 1M I got 11.157 at almost 4.5 gigahertz. Memories are at quite easy one-on-one -on -one ratio, which I normally don't run, so pretty much auto timings on the memory. And uh, the performance was, is that 15 milliseconds faster than Ice Power 798, 20 megahertz higher CPU. So he used the Gigabyte UD3P this is in the bucked mode for sure, so only half of the CPU being used. And 1900 DDR3 1900 on the memory. Sadly, this memory multiplier doesn't exist on the P45X3 Deluxe. That's the biggest minus of the whole lava board. I think, as what I discussed with Obscure Paradox from the United Kingdom, maybe someone could implement the uh, missing memory controller strap or this ratio to the motherboard sparse. I'm sure it could be possible, but if we could do that, then the board would be the ultimate option for these Yorkfield CPUs, because as we don't have this memory multiplier available, it's a very big minus. So. Uh, that's the reason why I'm running TDR3 1500 plus because we don't have the 5 to 8 ratio available on the P45 X3 Deluxe. This is something someone actually commented on my videos that why I'm running TDR3 1500 plus and not 5 to 8 ratio. That's the reason. So 15 milliseconds faster in Super by 1M. Pi fast was the hardest one. So 20.92, only 20 milliseconds faster than Ice Power 798. And look at lower frequency, 4487 against 4.5080, so 20 megahertz lower frequency. Memory close to DDR3 1600, 3 to 4 ratio, 55415 common rate 1. And Ice Power 798 used uh, DDR3 1920. 67621 common rate 2. So that was the hardest one. And hold on, so validation. Validation was only 3 megahertz higher. 4569.8 against 4566.8. But this is not in the this is not in the uh, bucked mode because it's very hard to get it with uh, the Astro P45 X3 Deluxe. If you can do it, if you can get it and po be able to post high enough, you can even get the FSP up to 620 and even higher. So uh, this was probably the hardest one of, the, of all of the York field, locked York fields. Of course, I'm missing the validation on three of the power of the CPU models but I don't really mind too much. We have every single one, all of the performance tests with every single model that we were interested in. Uh, 8200, 8300, 8400, 
9650. So uh, damn happy. One of the uh, CPU families I've been uh, heavily interested in and it has been a very wonderful ride with the ASRock P45 X3 Deluxe. There's still definitely something more to be discovered about the board like uh, like the maybe CPU PLL get it lower than 1.5 and then getting that missing memory multiplier option on the valves. But that's something I most likely cannot do myself, would have to investigate about the topic. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, all of the uh, scores are already on hardwarebot.org, as you can <laughs> pretty much see based on this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you really appreciate my efforts with these older platforms and this CPU family. And uh, Subscribe to my channel, maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work. And yeah, thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again. And I will see you on the next one.